it. And the last thing I'll say generally is that this discussion of entrepreneurship, leadership, creativity, all that stuff, it is not the, it's not a pyramid concept. Uh, it is not the only peak. It is just another option. You have to know who you are as a person. If you prefer, if you enjoy, if it gives you great personal passion to be inside an organization, inside a chamber group, you want to play in an orchestra. That's what you want to do. Not, not that that's what your teachers want you to do. When you're getting ready to go to sleep late at night, you think that's what I want to do. Then do that. Don't worry about being an entrepreneur. It's, you know, it's overhyped up in the business world. CEOs are charismatic and they're wonderful and that's what everyone wants to be. Um, there's a great book by Stephen Sample called The Contrarian Guide to Leadership. Stephen Sample is the president of USC, University of Southern California. And there's a chapter in there called Being President Versus Doing President. Everybody wants to be a president, but nobody wants to do president. Except, oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot we're at Overland. I did walk into that. Uh, but no one wants to do the work that's required for being a president. Uh, and so you really have to think about what those roles mean, even as we're talking about entrepreneurship. Your preferred role might be something else. That's fine. And often in conservatory education, if I may be bold to say, we don't say that enough. We say you must learn these excerpts. We say you must learn these concerti. Because if you're a violinist, that's what you're supposed to want to do. If you're a brass player, you're supposed to want to be principal trumpet of the Chicago Symphony. Uh, and I must tell you, as one who had the opportunity to have the president of the Chicago Symphony say to me, Aaron, why don't you come because the principal trumpet job is going to be open next year and you sound great. We would love for you to fly you in to do this. And I said, no, I don't want to do your job. And he said, well, well, don't you know about Fritz Reiner and the tradition? I said, I have all those records. I know who Fritz Reiner is. I know the sound. I know every player in the band. But I like to play other styles of music. I love to play Barrio, and I want to play some Monk, and I want to play some Motown, and I want, to, I want to do that. And your job doesn't allow me that flexibility. And besides, I don't want to be your token black player, because you don't have any in your orchestra. <laughs> and uh, my family, aunts and uncles, live four blocks from Symphony Hall and have never been there, never been invited there, never felt that they needed to be there. So I don't want to work that hard in your job. Thank you. Um, so that type of comment, that type of exchange, and was much nicer than that. Henry and I still get along. We, <laughs> we love having Chinese food together. He's great. But that, that type of openness, I realized that we're not empowering our students to feel, to say, this is what I want to do. Or I love orchestra playing. I love counting those 120 rests as a trumpet player and coming in and just, you know, sh I call it shooting gallery, you know, shooting gallery playing. Okay, if you love that, then go do that. <laughs> Um, but the, the issue of entrepreneurship and leadership that I want to insert is options. It's a option. It is a way of uh, molding your career at a certain stage. I don't run the brass orchestra anymore. I'm not doing as many. I don't have my manager anymore to do all these solo concerts. No disrespect. She's, she's great. But I'm interested in running an organization now. And I'll next phase, I'll be interested in something else. It doesn't have to be one thing. But it is important that you understand what entrepreneurship takes what it feels like, and uh, what it uh, actually can do and can't do for you. Thanks, Aaron.